A rocket mask heater won't burn properly unless you use small pieces of dry wood. Oh. A wood stove will burn, but not well, on whole, damp logs. There could be major efficiency improvements if the homeowner went from firing a wood stove incorrectly to firing a rocket mass heater correctly. It's chew out its face, but it's um, also it's a bit of hogwash. So, rocket mass heaters only can use small diameters of wood. I think this it, is a... It can be defined this as a rocket mass heater. This yeah. is a rocket mass heater. It's good. Do you see the, the, the big chunks over there? This the looks two? like a big chunk of wood, but uh, I uh, guess... The other one is thicker. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Two hands. I'm going to need two hands. <laughs> ah! Okay. Here, Here, okay. Put that in there. All right. <laughs> it's a different... <laughs> it's <laughs> we might have to open the doors. If yeah, we'll... It's not blocking the port. It's got its room on both sides. Okay. Yesterday, uh... <laughs> yeah, way to block the shot. <laughs> Yesterday, uh, Patrick asked Something me, uh, I have here a big chunk with, with knots in it and so on, and can I shove that in there? And I said, when it's hot, but it will barely fit in. Probably left and right, it, it, there's no, no room left. So put two smaller pieces at the bottom, so the fire can start there, mm -hmm. and put the, the big piece on top, and then the firebox was full. So what about small sticks? I think it's from rocket cook stoves. If you're lighting short uh, fires okay. in rocket cook Maybe stoves. Or a small J-tube. Yeah, a tiny J-tube, like a six and, and inch the, or a four the, inch. The L-style rocket cook stoves, that's part of their educational program to get people to burn small stick fuels. The Australians, uh, Tim Barker was repeating that a lot. It's part of what they teach. If you're doing a short fire for cooking and you're trying to burn a big chunk of wood, it's hard to get that started. But rocket cook stoves and short cycle firing versus a rocket mass heater or rocket masonry heater that's going to have a bigger firebox and be for producing heat. I it's, think it's a different animal. I think what we learned is is that she has never used a rocket mass heater. <laughs> and <laughs> and that she has heard this maybe, much maybe about rocket mass heater. She never saw one. And she's exercising her skepticism like and but, and but there is something very like that description. You can ignore the stick fuels thing. Mm. Um, but if someone has gone from storing 10 cords of wood down to thinking, well, I may only need two or three cords this year because they said a cord. Well, I'm going to put up four cords and see how much I need. If they use one cord each winter or two cords each winter, they're burning on average two or three year old wood that there's now room in their woodshed to keep it dry. When they were burning 10 cords, they were having to bring wood in midwinter and refill the woodshed, and a lot of that wood wasn't dry. And so I do think that there's, an, like, like part of the real on-the-ground numbers that people are finding is that because their woodshed is now big enough to cover two years' supply of wood, they are, for the first time in their lives, burning properly dried wood. <laughs> Even funny. despite their best attempts to get there before, it's just <laughs> like, that's a huge woodshed. If you're going to store two years' worth of wood for Montana winters for a wood stove, it's like you, you probably need a building, like most of this building would be full of wood if you were going to store, you know, your six or eight cords over here for this year and six or eight cords drying for next year, and then you probably need some kind of industrial fan system to like kick it up. And I like the part where you say <laughs> huge wood stove, but the way you pronounce it was huge wood stove. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so polite. On one of the nice <laughs> things, one of the nice things about a J-style rocket mass heater is that you can get adequate heat out of a bunch of little twiggy twigs. Right. Right. You don't have to. You know, anything from about my wrist on down, I go out into the forest and just snap off a bunch of dead standing branches and come home with a bundle like this, and I'm warm for two days. Yeah, and especially in the western U.S. where you're trying to do that anyway for fire danger, you're not buying a lot of wood. It right. can be yeah. hard to calculate how much wood you used because you haven't bought wood in three years. Exactly. I could create a sustainable wood lot in my yard. I mean, redwood grows back. You cut redwood, it grows back. And so I could turn a redwood stump into a coppice wood and keep myself like hot forever 
And redwood is crap firewood. It's crap firewood. It's super light. It's just junk. Right? Nobody else wants to burn it. It's great for kindling. Right? You can chop up a bunch of redwood kindling and then throw an oak log on it. Right? But... I mean, I've got all this standing dead manzanita on my property because the redwoods have outgrown it, and now it's like this understory that's dead and standing and dry. So I can go out in a rainstorm and crack off a few dry, dead, standing manzanita pieces and throw it into this thing, and uh, like I'm good to go. You so, know. So no system works its best in a state of neglect, but most wood stoves I've seen invite neglect when the uh, when our mental image of a good wood stove is something that we can damp down long enough to get a full eight hours of sleep yeah. that is the gold standard in selling wood stoves yeah. why because i don't want to get up in the middle of the night and it's a way to almost guarantee that you're and it will guarantee cre that heat. your wood stove is burning inefficiently and if you're working with eight cords of wood I will guarantee you, you are going to spend less time cutting it up into something and drying it carefully for it to be burned. You're just going to throw in whatever you've got. A fr friend with a, uh, a, a 4,000 square foot house, why? Because he had 14 children. And his <laughs> wood stove was, had this huge firebox. I know because I got it when he moved. And uh, he would throw rolls of carpet in there, whatever, in the 1970s when you couldn't afford to heat your house anymore. Uh, whatever he could find went in there, and uh, my rocket won't tolerate that. No, nope. my rocket does gets mad at me if I burn something bigger than this and this. Fortunately, I have a source for that very economically, but that just happens to be the most efficient way to burn this stuff. And um, and and wood stoves invite. When you get a big firebox, they invite neglect. They invite poor practice. Mm. So um, if you build into the design of the system that it invites better practice, you're going to get better efficiency. If, like Yanto, you build a wood stove, that, uh, a rocket heater that, that burns just a couple of sticks and nicely warms you, but you have to put it out when you go to bed or it will smoke back at you, you're not going to try even to burn wood all night to be more comfortable. You're going to say, well, I, don't, I want to wake up in the morning, so I'm going to put this out. So I'm going to use less wood, and I'm going to bundle up more. This is, this is inviting to higher efficiency through design, and the rocket heater kind of does that, of like, well, I'm going to feed this, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm not going to damp it down because it doesn't work. I'm not going to... Uh, uh, shove this big of a piece in it because it doesn't fit. I'm going to uh, take more care to do something that works better uh, because I have to. Well, and that mass is going to make up for the fact that I can't burn it all night long. Right. Because it's going to gonna radiate back to me. Yeah, I am more I comfortable I, this way. I don't want my stove smoking back and I don't want to be running a wood fire all night while I'm asleep and hoping it all goes well. Right. You know, yeah. Dog, yeah, dog totally. knocks something over and doesn't matter how much clearance I had once once the dog starts chasing the cat around the house things change if I can have great confidence that it's <laughs> that I'm not gonna have that happen I don't want it in my house yeah so yes yeah. so question? so for me yeah I, I don't want to burn the fire overnight if I can have heat overnight without doing that that's a huge safety factor right there I don't know how Ernie does it but he seems to find giant blocks of wood that fit as one chunk down inside the J tube wood feeds and I don't even know how the air gets around it to get in it because it's like almost a perfect fit. So when she's saying you can't use big blocks of wood, I think Ernie would object to that because <laughs> he gets these things that just fit down there ever so perfectly. Once it's screaming hot. Once it's screaming hot. Once it's screaming yeah. hot, you can stuff the cat down there. It yeah. Fine. And I yeah, also know, <laughs> so from, from experience, <laughs> I've, I've burned green wood and rocket mass heaters before without a problem. Of course, I always do exactly the same thing I've done with conventional wood stoves was don't burn green wood by itself because the fire goes out. Instead, you mix in some dry wood and you can get away with it. It kind of dries the green stuff as it's going. Granted, this is not a great idea for a conventional wood stove or a rocket mass heater. However, I also believe that it's a 10 times worse idea for a conventional wood stove because that's how you make creosote. That's how you get a chimney fire. That's how you destroy your home. 
But yeah. actually, if you put a little stick of green wood in a rocket mass heater after it's smoking, it's like screaming hot, it'll actually move more heat down mass because of all the moisture content. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. <laughs>